Hey guys, Emma, and welcome back to my channel. And today, I'm becoming a princess. At least that's how I'm looking at it. I am getting my very first crown done. Not like a necessarily the proudest life moment, but it is a molar that I've had problems with like my entire life. They were like, told me at my last dentist appointment, which unfortunately was a year ago since I went to my last one prior to now. But they were like, you're gonna probably wanna get your crown done in the next year or so, just for the benefit of myself and that tooth. So I had my um, follow-up like hygienist appointment, cl um, dental cleaning about three weeks ago, I think at this point, And we determined we were just gonna get the crown done and over with. I am on my way to do that. I have really little to no knowledge. Like, like I said, first one, I have just heard that, you know, of course they're just gonna numb it, which as a, uh, Individual who hates needles, not a fan of numbing. I went to the dentist several times growing up where I have to get fillings done and I was like, yeah, let's just try not to numb me as much as possible. If I need numbing, I'll let you know. So I had gotten cavities filled um, without any fillings, or not fillings, any, uh, what is it called? Oh my gosh, I just really said it, numbing agents. So now I'm headed to get that done, which I know it's inevitable to have the numbing in place because they're going to take out like a good chunk of my tooth like i think it's like the root and stuff so it's like almost a root canal but not a root canal not really sure how it works seriously i'm so shot in the dark but that's kind of how i want to go into it not really knowing so i can share with you what to expect because it's it's not something that everyone has to go through but it's new to a lot of people when they do have to do it and they don't know what to expect so i'm gonna kind of give you the inside scoop afterwards my mouth We'll see if I do it right after because it will be so numbed that I like probably won't be able to smile properly. It's on the right side um, and I will have to get another one done at some point as well. But um, for now, one crown at a time, becoming a princess today is how I'm gonna look at it positively. So I'll let you know how this goes. I'm all done. It's this one, right? Ah. There. I'm still very, very numb. It's on the bottom, so thankfully you can't really tell. Um, but it went really, really well. I was very pleasantly surprised. Very little to no pain. The only thing that I could really know on was, of course, the numbing. Um, but it was great. I don't know exactly how it works. I don't know if they actually drill a hole in your tooth because what it looks like, my tooth became like a dome and then they made the thing on it and my dentist has the ability to actually make it on site. So I was just here for the afternoon pretty much getting it done. Um, but it's 3.23 and my appointment was at one. So little like an hour and 15. And I'm really not that bad, especially for getting it done all here. I will definitely do some more notes once I get home on what to know but no great experience the next day all right guys so it's actually the next day I decided after talking to Dalton once I got home I have a like a decent amount of a lisp I haven't even watched back the clip from yesterday so sorry in advance if it was a little hard to understand what I was trying to say it took a good like I got done around 3 20 as I said and I think it was closer to 7 o'clock in the evening before I finally regained full feeling back in like my face and I could actually like use my tongue and feel my teeth. Nonetheless, it's been a really great process. I mean, I mentioned it yesterday, but even into today, it's really like, it was pretty quick to, I don't know, get adjusted to if that makes sense. In the sense, like you're able to eat on it right away. Of course, it's the numbing that creates problems but it's weird to like eat on that side because it's essentially like kind of like a foreign object in your mouth. So it doesn't fit exactly the way my like other tooth before it did. It fits fine, fits good. It's just a little bit right now as it's settling, still a little bit more compressed to one of my other teeth. So it just feels a little bit more tight, um, like of a tighter fit in there. But other than that, like it's great. I've ate on it. It's been just fine. I haven't really had like any pain. I haven't been trying to take medicine to try and help with it. I've been keeping up on medicine, 
granted there's a difference. I'm not having to take it to avoid pain. I'm just choosing to, to take it as a caution or as a precautionary method in case I do start to hurt. Cause like today I knew I was gonna have a bunch of meetings. It's actually over my lunch hour um, at work. So I wanna be able to talk and not be hurting and in pain. So that's been great. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to you here a little bit later um, so a few days, weeks, whatever it ends up turning out to, to give you a full recap as I get adjusted to it, when it becomes like feeling fully normal, she did share that my gums were probably gonna be a little bit sore because of having to, um, kind of get in there to make the way for the crown, but I might've said that already. Anywho, if not, now you know, if I did, we're stating myself, but, um, I could, that's the part probably the most that I can kind of feel is that soreness, just kind of like if you've had any irritation rubbing on your gum but there's not been any like blood nothing like everything's been going great it's seriously I can, i'm stunned with the process i'm just hoping i can instill in you before you go on your journey that you're going to be just fine it sounds like a big intimidating process and that's what they even mentioned me going into it and they're like this sounds a lot more intimidating than it is it's really pretty simple and straightforward so i'm going to come back to you in a few days whatever in a bit and then I'll give you the full recap once I am fully healed from my procedure and what to expect, what to look for, out for, and how to be prepared before you get your crown and become a princess like me. Good morning. I am actually, it's the next day. I wanted to hop on and say that I actually, since yesterday afternoon, have been very, very sore. I don't know if it's because of the numbing. That's kind of what it feels like because it's like deep in my jaw. But at the same time, this road is so bumpy, so I'm so sorry. Back roads for you. I have just been super sore, and so I have had to take um, medicine a few more times because um, I only took it yesterday morning when I told you. That was my maintenance of it. <laughs> so it's been sore today um, again, so I took some more medicine before coming to work today. Um, hoping that'll help but it's definitely just sore it's not like painful but the soreness isn't really a vibe so i mean especially like after sleeping and waking up it just felt like really tight but um i'm really thinking it's just from the numbing but again it's not bad medicine should help take care of it for me but it was aching last night all right guys so we are closing it off it has been a week since i had my crown done and I have zero pain. It's, I think it's been a couple of days now that I've had no irritation, no pain, and we're fully healed in my book. It was really, it truthfully went a lot quicker than I thought it would. I know it wasn't anything like super intense or invasive really. So there really wasn't much going into it where there was any concern but I am very pleased with how fast the recovery time was. I had this sore like in the back of my jaw for oh, like through most of it. Like that was the only part that really ever bothered me. I have a feeling that was from the numbing portion. I don't know like what was the irritation there. <laughs> Man's coming to say hi. That was the only irritation that I really experienced. It would be more sore in the morning from not having really used my jaw, but then throughout the day it'd get better. That would be the only thing I'd say to just keep an eye out for is um, any after the fact soreness. Ibuprofen, Tylenol definitely can help with that. So super, super simple really. <laughs> you didn't really have to do any of the work, just kind of go in and get it and get done. I'm again, just very, very pleased with how fast, easy, quick it all went down. You seriously had no idea not to get inside scoop of my teeth, but I mean, you can't tell. That's what everyone wants is, you know, for it to be really discreet. I guess just one of the biggest things are is just kind of the stigma behind it. I mean, I don't know. Cause for me, I just feel like, you know, it's a little bit, makes you feel kind of insecure for having to get a crown. Like, oh, you've got bad teeth. It just happens. Sometimes that's genetic, but sometimes it's just, you know, wear and tear. Um, I've been a grinder for a lot of my life and my dad's a grinder. So that could definitely play a part in it because it's this molar. And then the one just directly opposite of that, that has had some issues. So this side will be up next, but so I'll be double crowning it up <laughs> in here. It has to be done. You really can't control that. 
Uh, it's important to protect those teeth because oral hygiene, your overall health, it comes down to that. So it's really important to take care of your teeth. Go to those like twice a year checkups, getting it done, if not twice, at least once a year because I am guilty of it too. Can't always get there um, two times in a year, but once a year is definitely, definitely important. I would say the things you need to know going into it, man, he's really needy right now. You can't see what I'm having to hold his hand. The biggest thing I would say going into it is just trust your doctor, essentially. They know what they're doing and they'll take good care of you. You're in good hands. Really just make sure that you, I mean, in all things, just keep up on fluids because I feel like, I mean, not that this really is going to do anything, but fluids just is, is always important. Making sure that, um, you like talk to insurance beforehand that you know like how much potentially is going to be out of pocket. That is something that my office was very good and helpful with trying to like communicate, make sure I was aware of how much I was going to be owing day of. Really just after the fact, monitoring pain. So before your numbness goes off, um, like where is it when it goes off? It's like an alarm. Before your numbness goes away, make sure, um, so I'd say once you get home from your procedure, take some ibuprofen and or Tylenol to make sure that once it starts um, subsiding, you're gonna be prepared, hopefully eliminating any pain that can come out of it. Again, my experience is very minimal, but everybody's experience can be different as they are with, with all things. So never hurts to be safe. And then just from there, communicate with your provider. If there's anything you have questions or concerns of, they will be the ones to talk to for that. But this is just the advice that I have to share from my experience. I hope it can be helpful to someone because I know something like this would have been helpful for me because I had no idea going into it. It just sounds like it's going to be super scary, <laughs> intimidating, painful, really. But no, it's, it's really not. It was super simple, really interesting getting to be able to see my crown be made since my provider was able to do that in-house. So it's gonna be different for everyone. This is the experience I had, but if you have any questions, be willing to drop them down in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. But your provider will definitely be the best resource um, to ask those questions. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for staying in for my journey. Stay in my journey. Staying tuned and coming along for my journey. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.